Those shootings again dominating headlines. Many people have been taking to social media to share their thoughts. Tonight News Channel Line's Julia Blanc sat down with a local expert to talk about the cycle we see after these tragedies, something she calls mass shooting fatigue. Make it to the west side of Walmart, please. Two mass shootings making national headlines in less than 24 hours. 29 people dead and at least 53 injured. It's something Jacqueline Schildkraut studies for a living as a mass shooting expert and an associate professor at SUNY Oswego. Jacqueline waking up to the news this morning feeling like many others, thinking not about if another shooting will happen, but where and when. We spend a lot of time in this nation focusing on how do we respond to these tragedies, but the question we should be asking ourselves is how do we prevent these tragedies from happening in the first place? And the response, Jacqueline says, is typically the same. There's a shooting, there's thoughts and prayers, and then she says the political arguments come into play. In some respects, it feels like a script, and I, I don't say that to make light of what's going on, but just because you can predict what's going to be said in what order and how it's going to come out. And, you know, frankly, it's infuriating. A cycle she's dubbing as mass shooting fatigue, but one Jacqueline says should include all parts of the conversation. Mass shootings are multifaceted, multidimensional issues, and if we keep trying to talk about them in these very simplistic one note terms, we're not going to make any real headway. And though it may be hard to see right now, Jacqueline says in comparison to where we were years ago, headway has been made. We see more and more people like in this last year with Parkland getting at, you know, getting active and using their voices. It just shouldn't take people dying to make that happen. Calling for action rather than a reaction. Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9.